To get started with, let's go ahead and create a new app inside Herd. And in here we want to have a Laravel new chat CDN view. We're going to go ahead and use Jetstream as the starter kit with view and inertia. We're going to go ahead and add dark mode support. And we don't need to add anything else. We don't really care about testing or user authentication in this case. I'm just going to show you how to install it and how we can add the components pretty easily into our application. We're going to go ahead and migrate everything. We're going to be using SQL uh, Lite for our database management. So I'm going to go ahead now and open up a new project. In this, I'm going to go into Laravel Herd. And in here, we're going to go in and open up ShadCDN view. So while this is going up and setting up, let's go ahead now and take a look at our application. I for now just want to do npm run dev. Once this has gone ahead and done, we're going to just migrate everything again. So while that's running, I'm going to go ahead now and head into chatcdnview.com. So this should have already gone ahead and installed now. So what we can go ahead and do is we can set this up. So it's already a pretty decent installation setup process here. So we're going to go ahead and now install it. Now this will go ahead and ask us if we're using TypeScript and what project we're using. I'm going to go with the default theme and slate as the color. I'm going to go ahead and just add tsconfig. And we're going to just leave the components like that. We're going to have this inside components with a capital C just for that to be there. And uh, we wanted to make sure we don't have TypeScript set up. So let's go ahead and redo this. So the issue happening here is that it's already gone ahead and created, in this case, components JSON. So we need to go ahead and delete it. We're not using TypeScript, we're using Laravel, default, Slade, just leaving it in here. And we just want this inside components folder. And we want to proceed. So now that should go ahead and essentially install the dependencies. And that's it. So what you will see now inside our resources folder, and here we have JS components. We can now go ahead and install a component. In this case, let's go ahead and install the button component. And then let's head into our shared CDN view test. And you can see this is already installed. So if we now head into our login.view, down here we can change this from primary button to button. That will then have gone ahead and imported this in here to the application. And now we have this button set up here. The other thing we want to go ahead and do here is add in the input component. and label. And then we want to go ahead and change this to be input and label. And in this case, we don't have a value for this component. We instead pass it in to the slot. The same goes here. I'm not going to go ahead and show you as well how we can add everything in. I'm just showing you how we can essentially set it up here and add in the very basic. I'm not going to change it on every page because that's a bit redundant. But now we essentially have these components here. It works exactly the same way. We can go ahead and add any of the other components in here. Now, the way that it works, if you want to add themes, you can go in here, customize it and copy the code, which is just something we add in, in this case, to our 
app to CSS. We then get rid of this and replace it. And now we have this different color for our button and the different styling. So that's essentially how we do that. Um, the other thing is that there's the components JSON one. So if you decide that you're upgrading to use TypeScript later on, you can go ahead and change that to true. And you can change all of this in here as well. Thank you very much for watching this video on how we can quickly and easily set up CSDN with Vue and Laravel. Please hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.